Welcome to EF Pod English. Brought to you by EF Education First and English Town. Learn anytime, anywhere. Pod English Upper Intermediate 67 Technology. Today, we're going to learn more about describing high tech gadgets by combining several adjectives. Before we watch the movie, let's have a look at parts of the dialogue on their own. Look at my new fancy gadget. So this is like saying, look at my new cool electronic device. It's a PDA, so it's a personal digital assistant. It's a wireless multi-platform web-enabled browser. So it doesn't need any cables or wires works on many platforms such as Windows or Mac and it can surf the internet. It's a solar powered voice activated memory expandable phone. So my PDA is powered by the sun. It doesn't need batteries. I can talk to my phone and tell it to do things and the memory can be increased if I want it to be. Now we've had that preview Let's watch the movie. Hey, I see you've bought yourself a new fancy gadget here. Hey, I'm an early adopter of new technology. That's the latest PDA. Personal digital assistant, right? What does it do? Well, on the one hand, it's a wireless, multi-platform, web-enabled browser. My handheld does that. Well, on the other hand, it's a solar-powered, voice-activated, memory-expandable phone. My phone's rechargeable, but not solar powered. I have my bills paid, my music collection catalogued, and all of my photos stored on its built-in memory. So what happens if you lose it? Well, in case of loss or theft, all of the password protected data is automatically backed up to a web account once a day. I'm actually quite impressed. Did you know that English uses a specific order for adjectives if you have more than one? Take a look at this example. She has a small, square, black laptop computer. In English, we put adjectives in a specific order before the noun. First size, like small. Shape, like square. Color, like black. Origin, like Japanese. Material, like metal. And function, such as laptop. If you pay attention, you will see this order repeated all the time. People also combine adjectives to make compounds. Two words working as one word. You will see more of this in a minute. In this part, you're going to listen to my description of what the PDA can do. Think of the right adjective to fit this description. Then, we can see how Dennis describes it in the movie. Now how else can I say, well on the one hand, it doesn't need any cables or wires. It works on many platforms such as Windows, Mac, Linux, etc. And it can surf the internet. Well on the one hand, it's a wireless multi-platform web-enabled browser. That's right, you can say, well, on the one hand, it's a wireless, multi-platform, web-enabled browser. Now, what can I say instead of, on the other hand, it's powered by the sun, I can talk to my phone and tell it to do things, and the memory can be increased if I want it to be. Well, on the other hand, it's a solar-powered, voice-activated, memory-expandable phone. Good. The correct answer is, on the other hand, it's a solar-powered, voice-activated, memory-expandable phone. As you can see, there are a lot of things you can do with adjectives. Put them in order, combine them into compound words, and generally sound very high-tech. See you again soon. Welcome to EF Pod English. Brought to you by EF Education First and English Town. Learn anytime, anywhere. 
Pod English Upper Intermediate 70 Computers. This is the new computer. Today, you will be learning about computer and internet related terminology. Oh, oh it always happened. Make note of what kind of language is used to explain how to find something on the internet. We're now going to watch a movie about someone teaching her friend how to use the internet. Jane, I want to find the weather forecast for tomorrow. What do I need to do? First, you need to be connected to the internet. Oh, right. So I use the mouse to click on this icon here on the desktop, right? Yes, and then wait while the computer dials up. Why is it taking so long? 